Okay, so let's click that there. Give this uh, ability to waste. Go to full screen. Uh, my time. Yeah, just so people know what time it is here. Probably also time to get a haircut. Uh, okay. Why is that? Screen. And we'll go back to driving. <sighs> I'm having troubles with my uh, glasses. Trying to get a trying to get a pair of glasses that uh, I've had it I've, for a number of years. I've had a doubling of my vision, meaning that I see sort of a two images of something slightly offset and if I but I my eyes seem to reason either resolve it or just focus on why on I or the other other but I finally got my uh, eye doctor to take me seriously and what they did is they put a fre Fresnel or Fresnel lens plastic behind one lens to add a bit of a prism effect. But she didn't add enough and she didn't put it at the right angle, so I have to go back. She also wants me to go see my family doctor and make sure I, you know, get a CAT scan or something in case I've got a brain tumor or something. And well, I suppose. But this has been happening a while. It's getting worse and worse. Just slightly worse, I guess. as a function of um, age, I think. My eyes get... My, my eye muscles are slower to focus than adapt. Oh. I'll just say I want to go to another optometrist to get a second opinion. I can't go back to one of the ones in the same shop because I'm sure as professional um, courtesy, she'll give them my file and they'll come to the same conclusion she did. I'll go to my family doctor. In other news, I've been uh, driving way too much and writing way not a not enough. But oh well. Let's just put it put it down as a phase. I've got a Friday story I haven't finished yet. Maybe we'll do that today after I drive some more. But I'm. Uh, this is the Grimes traffic, or Grimes weather mod for winter, plus this physics mod that makes it a little slipperier. And I've got this truck, my Zill, my Russian Zill. Ian Mel, drive it in the Zill. Having a grand old time. Yeah, I put a my time thing there on the screen there too because it's turn left. I don't think I turn left. Uh, come on, Sky. I think I just go right through. That. Sure. My car go here. Uh, yeah, this thing. A gents BA-725. I have no idea what it is, but I'll, I'll take it. See once we hook up to it what the hell it is. What's oh, this thing? <coughs> oh, it's one of them logging things. How's that for good grammar? Oh no, it's not. No, it's not a logging thing. It's um Let's hook up to it first. Pull it out. The wood chipper. 
the chipper. I think I have to be uh, aligned if I'm gonna pull up to it. Oh, it is. Oh, thank you, Airy Dragon. It definitely is a wood chipper. Look at those big gnarly teeth. Nice. Let's get it out a little farther. Possibly not. Oh, it is. A look at that trailer just dance around behind me. Oh, this would be a joy to pull. Uh, not to back up. Oh, yeah, it is. So there's the feed. There's the chomp, chomp, chomp. And outriggers that it can sit on. A ramp. Cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was hard to tell until I got it out there and it's like, oh, yep. Yep. Definitely looks like a chipper. Coming out. Coming up, buddies. And right. Okay. Can I turn right? I can turn right, in fact. The only danger is I was worried the ass end was going to swing around and hit somebody or something. Oh, what do you mean finding any route? You told me to turn right, you freaking idiot. Damn you, Sky. You know, I have Farm Simulator 17, I think, and I tried it, and too many buttons. A, A, well... <coughs> A, too many buttons, and B, although I, I know a lot of what has to be done to be a, a farmer. <coughs> well, let's see how this does on, um, on this slippery hill. I was going to say as, as low. I know a lot of what has to be done for farming, but or I could figure it out. You look it up. But, um, I don't know. Too complicated for me. Uh, my GPS, sorry, my GPS is out of sync with my map. <coughs> she is. She is sometimes. Um, sometimes she does, you know. Sometimes she, um, yeah, exit now. See. Sometimes she'll tell me to go straight instead of turn, or turn instead of straight. I'm not sure how it gets out of sync. It's not that it's out of sync. Oh, -ho, Steph is back. Thank you. Thank you, Steph, for the cheer. Cheers all the way from... Is it tomorrow yet? Uh, no, it's still today in Australia. Oop, probably should have got gas. Oh well, another day. It's all the way from down under. Um, so I put my time up there just because I was trying to figure out what time it was here and there. So I figure my time, it's that time. And we moved our clocks last night. I'm back to wearing a, a watch. I have a Swiss Army watch that my sis sister gave me a number of years ago. I stopped wearing because I started wearing my Fitbit. And I'm angry at my Fitbit, so I'm good. I'm good, Steph. I'm having issues with uh, getting a good set of glasses and trying to compensate for some vision doubling I have with... They can add a prism to the lens, and short term they can add a Fresnel or Fresnel lens stick-on on the inside, but we're working on that, but... Doing well. St I'm still writing. I haven't written in the last few days, but still writing. Still enjoying my neighborhood. I'm a, I'm 
<coughs> up to my local bar several times a week so much so that uh, I go in and they say, oh, I'm just like Norm on Cheers. Hey, Mike. Oh, people will get up. Oh, sorry, I was in your seat. A little corner seat. This little... Oh, I love this sort of... Look at this, we just get... Got some good air there. And here. Excellent. Okay, we'll slow down a bit. Good, we're running out of road. Nice road, though. No way. Um, so... Yeah. It's a uh, just a corner I can sit and I can look down the bar. I can chit chat slash flirt with the various servers. I can when they come to that end of the bar, and I can look out the window and I can sit there and write. And I can't see any of the TVs. It's sort of a sports bar, so people are fine for me taking that corner. Oh, I think the last time I did this, I perhaps did it a little fast. Nice bridge, eh? I'm assuming we'll have enough oomph to get up this hill. Um, do we have spinning tires? Not really, because it's a 6x6. Six six. So I have my own little corner. So, and there, it's half past two in the morning. Oh, well, thanks for thanks for popping in, uh, Steph. Hope all is well with you. I hope you're enjoying spring. And, uh, hope your uh, job, your work goes well, and your, uh, any online romances are going well, you know. <laughs> we'll catch you later on. I'll probably be on again this evening. Oh. Love this little road, though. <coughs> ProMods 2.41, folks. Uh, the ProMods map addition to ETS 2. And it does a damn fine, damn fine job. Uh, oh. yep. Probably even worse if I was inside here. Looking at these bumps, but. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Get you tomorrow or tonight. <laughs> well, check out my latest stories too, Steph. I've been I've been adding every week. Oh, you probably do check them out. So. Have a good, have a good sleep. Where are we here now? It's interesting. Oh, the guys just hanging around. Oh. Oh, now I think I get. Uh, now I think we get traffic here. We didn't have traffic before. And of course, it's a cargo pickup, and you can tell it's a cargo pickup because there's trucks. Um, ETS does that, but there is even more of them in this game. Okay. Or not. Ass. What, did I have a signal on? No, but now I've got a damaged truck. Uh, how damaged was I? 80% that was a ding. Oh, dear. So annoying. Okay.
Okay, well, we're going to do a garage and a repair thing eventually, so we'll get there. Um, what we got here? Gas? Oh, well, there we go. Repairing gas. Right there, we'll get fixed up. Fixed up, gas it up. Edward on the highway, looking for adventure. Or whatever comes our way. Because we are born to be wild. Uh, no, I think I picked... I think I picked a peck of pickled peppers. And or, I'm pretty sure I picked the short route. They are the uh, small roads. You can tell by the way those... Tell by the way they smile. Small roads. Good. We like small roads. I'll have to try not to drive for five hours today. Maybe I'll drive for an hour. And then uh, have some lunch. Have some lunch, do some writing. Oh, a recruiting agency. Oh, I think I already, I must have been this way. It's funny, you can go so fast with this truck and catch air like that, nothing got broken. <laughs> Didn't lose my trailer, that would be embarrassing. Sort of. I gotta sort of go straight on. Oh, that's right, it's a self steering trailer, so. Don't worry. Okay, hey buddies. Hi there, yes. Stop, stop talking to your friend, we gotta get fixed here. Maintenance repair. 5,000 euros. That bugger. I think it's hard to know. But given, given the bumper that I have in the front, Jesus, I wonder I didn't drive right over him. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I just whacked, whacked that car out of hell. Okay. Okay, and we'll gradually turn because we want to spin around. Okay. Okay, look at those. Look at those axles. Just dance and prance. <clears throat> now, gas up. Uh, do I have to gas up? Where are we at? Need it help. Where's our next one? Uh, well, let's do it if we can. If we can, if we can get across the road. People let me go. There's a, oh, there's a light there. See how this goes. Oh, can people have to turn there? Oh, it's a T junction too, so get confused. And how much room is there? There's room for that car, that car, that car, that car, that truck. Is there room for that car to sit there and just be a jerk? There is. If everybody would move up, I could have got through, you know. Well, let's see what happens on this one, and if not, we're just going to have to push through. That's annoying, eh? Let's watch. Turn right. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Turn right, turn right. No, just run through. Uh, and then we're going to have to go at the other side, which...
I think I was supposed to go that way anyways. <laughs> I was supposed to turn left at the T, so... Not that bad a move. Means I'm here. Turning left at the T. Okay. Go straight on. Go straight on. Actually, I think you mean I turn left. Straight on, go across the street there. So, nice chewy baka because it chews bark. R R. Actually, I don't have to worry about this. It's self-steering, right? So we will we will follow around the corners very nicely. What is this stuff? <coughs> Okay, slow down a bit for the construction. We can do that. Did I hit the guy? No. Ooh, caught some air there and then. Huh. Um, oh, it was just chickens. <laughs> chickens on the road. <coughs> Why did the quick chicken cross the road? It didn't. I get run over. There's a cop there. There's another one. <coughs> Excuse me. So they're they're trying to uh, they're trying to uh, probably not going to get many speeders there. But with everybody turning, slowing down because of the chickens. No, oh, it's my gear. My gear is nine. And I think I have uh I have extras, but we're good here. So our, um, no, just a sec. Him, him. So in uh, Ottawa, anyways, we changed our clocks last night, moved them an hour back. And I could never remember whether we're actually supposed to have considered that an hour lost or gained. I suppose the day is an hour later. Longer. Because it's earlier. You know, you sleep in till 8 o'clock and you get up and actually it says 7 o'clock. So you know, even though you may have 8 hours sleep, <coughs> get an extra hour, but... It's not as if we are slaves to a schedule, so I think people, uh, the majority of people have messy sleep schedules anyway, so some nights you get more hours, some you don't, some you get up early, some you don't, so it's a little disingenuous to complain twice a year that you've gained or lost an hour. Um, 
I suppose you you probably get used to waking up at a certain time and maybe it maybe it puts that clock off. Not sure. I think that's better. Um, I used to sleep in a lot. Then I had kids and got out of the habit of sleeping in. And uh, once the kids were big enough that they could go downstairs and turn on the TV and pour some cereal. Oh, it's red lights, not just somebody stopped. Um, I found for a while that I'd had almost it seemed like I'd lost the ability to sleep in, which was frustrating. But uh, what sort of hours do people have? I'm curious. I read an interesting, interesting article on circadian rhythms the other day, and I don't know where they are. Oh, Jesus, people stand right in the middle of the freaking road. Although they're virtual people, I could have driven right through them. Uh, the article was talking about um, how some people's rhythms, I guess the circadian rhythm, yeah, Sinks, sinks to basically sinks to the sun, which can be a mess in uh, short days of winter as opposed to long days of summer. But um, and some people are skewed one way or the other, so their rhythm triggers them to feel like going to sleep late at night, and other people's early at night, so they end up being <coughs> night people or morning people. And I guess it'd um, be nice if there was a way to test that. If that really is the fact, and if it's something fixed, it'd be nice if there was a way to test when you were in your younger days or whatever. To find out if you're a That was me <coughs> spinning a lot on those bumps. So maybe you can adjust your job aspirations or lifestyles to fit with the fact that you are early or late. Not that it might not be an easy choice to decide whether to be a farmer milking cows early in the morning or a... Uh, Programmer, whoop, there was a bunny on the road. Or a programmer working late at night. But it might be interesting if people could do that. Rather than fighting it. You need a test that also accounts for the fact that some people stay up late just because they want to avoid the next day. I've done that. I'll have something stressful and disagreeable that I have to do the next day, so rather than go to bed early and get a good night's sleep, I'll stay up late. <coughs> Basically putting it off. So. Okay, so uh, we're going to have snow starting soon, and we'll run into the peculiarity of this truck. The windshield is too big. What are we doing here? We're doing stuff. I like the uh, random road events they have in this uh, Pro Mods. Hear that racing? It's because we're... It's interesting that we would... <coughs> Excuse me. Damn, or 
right. Interesting that there would be these bumps that we would lose traction on. And we're driving a 6x6. Six six. Thank you for shifting. So this is what I like about the, um, excuse me, looks like fishermen there, this is what I like about the um, S ETS map as opposed to ATS. ETS has so much more detail. Let's see what we have here. Five. Not that nice out. I mean, it's okay. And I believe our... Uh, I've set up for alerts now to... Uh, Get information about our LRT when it doesn't work. I don't take the LRT, but I'm just curious to see how bad it is. Sorry, got distracted. You know, as soon as you look at Facebook, it's like, ah! Okay, so, uh, what's our... I should look to see what we're supposed to be there. Expected Saturday morning. Okay. And right now, it's... Friday afternoon. And we've got 20 hours to go. So, oh no, no, right now it's Thursday. Sorry, looking at the wrong thing up there. we got 20 hours to go. So actually, we could, uh, yep. I like to drive in daytime and I could change the time in this. insistent on me doing that sky. <coughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, no, I didn't have to worry. I'm worrying about taking the corner wide to make sure the trailer goes around. I keep forgetting, no, this is a self-steering trailer. I need to worry about the other thing. If uh, you're not careful, the back end of the trailer swings around and hits things. Definitely not. Have to. Ooh, there's people walking. It's cold, people. Jeez. Can put on a jacket or something. Um, I don't know how cold it is because they don't have a... Uh, <coughs> it's a pretty basic truck. I haven't even been able to find out what the gauges are. You know, this one in the middle, maybe it's a... Maybe it's a turbocharger, although <coughs> I somehow don't think this truck has a turbocharger. Go straight up. Doesn't sound like it. 
What was that? That was a gas station out in the shrubbery. Okay. Excuse me. Glad I got that button that eats. When I deflam, I keep thinking. I need to send my brother, the former opera singer, a note on to Ohio to clear up that sporadic occasional chest. Straight on. <coughs> Interesting markings on the road there. Oh, there they are. It's uh, it's it's good. It's quite uh, authentic. Uh, what you would find in, with uh, stopping that stop there. Not sure why they would have a stop sign at the tracks. I know quite often buses are required by law to stop, but whether there's uh, signals or not, the signals are up, the bus still has to stop. Skitter. I think it was a skitter. Cow. Another skitter. Random. Uh, there's a well there. Somebody's wishing well. Thank you for visiting our town. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. A pretty little town it was, too. They seem to do a better job, okay, I'll qualify that. They seem to do a better job of picking small roads in the map mapping of, oh, see another rabbit. <coughs> Excuse me, of ETS, but they have a lot more roads to choose from. Um, I had heard that one of the changes to one of the mods for 1.36 for ETS was that they are going to add detours. So in Europe, you would have detours. That would be quite interesting because I have a problem with detours and ATS. They're just set up as a roadblock. It's just road closed. Sucks to be you. There's no <coughs> attempt to do it where there's a possibility of a reasonable detour. There's no indication of a detour route, route or route. So. That'll be less of an issue in uh, ETS because there's a lot more roads, so you're less chance of getting screwed being 100, 100k up a road. Well, it is 60 here. There we go. Put some Jake in. Just toggled it on. in on his auto braking really. Uh, oh, I think we're going to go up this ramp and over the river. The canal or whatever it is. <laughs> See? Little roads. Tiny roads. Oh, what the hell did we hit? Hit it when that happens. Right. No. 
okay. Get ready to turn right. Turn right with the little box here. Turn right. You see? Let's get up here and look. Didn't really want to stop rolling. And I got ready to turn right again. Is that what you're going to tell me, Sky? See, nothing. No, oh, sometimes Sky is there for me, and sometimes she's not. Sometimes she's wrong. But I think uh, that is a function of the map maker. Get ready to turn right. well, now we're going to get ready to turn right. Where were you before, Sky? Silly little nigget. There we are again. Uh, see, there's lots of little roads on uh, ETS also. And I think uh, ProMoz developers appreciate the fact that Users appreciate small roads. My pet peeve about the ATS is it's all, there's too many freeways. Boring. And not nearly enough scenery. I mean, this detail is, I, I keep forgetting until I come back to ETS, especially the Pro Mods, and to see the detail that they've added to the map. It's like, oh, shit. Oop, and it's suddenly getting darker, or my eyes are fading. Uh, maybe time for coffee. Let me uh, get this display going properly. There we go. Kind of a little bit of a lag. I'm usually about 7,000, 2,000, 3,000, or that sort of count between what I'm seeing on the screen and what I'm seeing on my monitor. That's the actual Twitch stream. But instead of 7, it's 10. A 10 count, but that's still decent. Not enough to really worry about resetting. Eighteen hours to go. And what was our time again? Saturday. Was it? Saturday morning. So a couple hours. Well. Might make it. Uh let's change the time to be very early on. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Want to do this? Okay. So let's set time to be five thirty. What's five thirty get me? See, five thirty gets me. Not too bad. Aside from the snow, and we can put wipers on. But uh, the wipers do a bad job of clearing the dash. I should check. I keep thinking I should check. I should check next time I take a break. And see if I can uh, change the wipers so that they actually clear the windshield. Uh, but, sorry, so that the windshield is smaller. I can see they want it, it's like it matches up at the windows on the left and right, but. <sighs> um, it's a pretty. Now I can't remember whether it does the same thing when it's raining. <coughs> because I usually uh, disable, cut the rain right back because I don't like it. But, uh, I don't mind the snow at all. Look at detour here. Cool. Oh, I see what we're doing. We're going through the uh, papers, please. Cool. Coolio. Because I guess we're leaving Russia. Border check. Checking your car documents. Please wait. Okay, now what? Uh, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, why don't we do this? Let's do this. I'm gonna make a coffee. Barely fit. Fit nicely there at all. Oops. Ooh, lights go out. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh, damn it. Let's try this again. Hit the backspace instead of the... instead of that one. Okay.
let's do another weather. Just for the sake of seeing that they're here. We are five. Still not that uh, delightful a day out there, is it? That's okay. Could be worse. Could be like this. Going. Resting truck, eh? Okay. I mean, really. You do, uh. I don't think this makes any difference in the high beams, does it? Oh, sorry. It does. It makes them high beams. Light up the world. Okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, uh, okay. I never even looked behind to see if there was somebody coming. There was. <laughs> he was right behind me. I cut him off. Luckily. Nobody hit anything. Uh, get ready to turn left. I could do that. Oh, I see what we have to do. We have to wait for all the cars. Jeez, you think they'd... Um They put a light here or something. If there's a truck, well, you think the truck could have the sense to. Oh, there was a car coming the other way, too. Kind of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Okay, truck this way, car that way. Pull in front of the car. Thank you. A little. With my lights. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got an hour to drive. I don't know if I'm really going to finish this route. Um, is this another papers, please? Possibly. There we go. We smoothly stopped. an air conditioning unit or something. Eh, looks like duct work. No, no reason to. Oh, there was a car there. Okay, there was a reason to suddenly stop. I thought he was just brake checking me because it was fun. Thirty. Why is it thirty here? Um, are we? I mean, we we'll go thirty, but everybody else is going thirty, so we will. But I wonder if there's some sort of thing. Station not even lit up. That's poor for business. Here we go. Suddenly we became 80. I think they would have kept them 30 when they till they got past both entrances of the gas station. Just entrance of safety, but. Another little road. 
a little. That's always the challenge. Gonna be a tiny little embarrassing road. Well, they're not embarrassing, actually. Yeah, sorry. That was a big crate that says fragile. Okay. You just slide into somebody, no foul. Oh, we're on to another super highway. Relatively speaking, because it look there's two lanes. Gives uh you have to have a new nomenclature. Normally single lane means single lane each way, but in this map single lane often means nope, just one single lane where the operative word is lane as in country. Still entertaining. Most entertaining. Most of my hair entertaining. Hair is done big explosion on me today. So, shall I go to my local today? I think so. And will there be people who forgot to turn the clocks or something? They'd have to be Luddites. We've got s such a variety of uh, our computers, our f our phones, our tablets, like our smartphones, our tablets, all update automatically. The radio reminds you, you know, so. I guess if you're exclusively a dial-up phone, oops, 30, oh well, a dial-up phone person. Basically, if you spent the day under a rock. The first exit, oh, we're just going into another branch of this highway. Heading for Riga. Riga? Riga. Where are we going? On the world map. Oh, okay. Wandering around nicely. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fair chuffed by the way this game does it. Um, let's see, go like this, because then we get the country names, I think. Yeah, so we go. <laughs> Latvia. Riga. Riga is Poland? Don't know. Coastness. Interesting. It's Latvia, Lithuania, and then down through Poland. And I think we're finishing in Poland. I believe. Let's look at our map again. Lots. Lots of lots. Well, okay, so 11.30, so let's drive till 12 anyways. It's hard to stop driving on this map. It's, it's so interesting. I have a coffee. 
not a lot of viewers or followers today, but that sort of comes and goes. Um, Streamlab says new version or whatever. Is it Streamlabs is telling me? I think Streamlabs is telling me it. You know, my if I have three followers, one stream and the next one I have six. It's like whoa, hundred percent increase. Amazing. Well, you know. I don't think I'm ever going to get up to the followers the limit where you get good. Um, good uh, revenue. Speaking of which, I need to ask my uh, former publisher. To once again check uh, Amazon. Um, think there might be something he can my publisher can do so he's <laughs> the problem is uh, initially published through Amazon uh, create space uh, print copies I did the digital copies but he did the print copies so he basically has ownership I have rights I have rights to documents he has ownership of the books in terms of who can go in and check and get money for it. So what he has to do periodically, he goes and checks and sees what it is and then, well, usually what's happened is they've already sent him a check. He's just kept the money and hasn't told me about it. I could ask him, but he has the inability to, inability to inability to comprehend comprehend more than three questions at a time it seems even though supposedly he worked for external affairs as a diplomat but I'm not sure what kind of diplomat he was I'd want to know uh, Ask him, could he please check to see if there have been any sales? transfer to me. So I want to ask him uh, yesterday, you know, does he get a, do they just send him a check? And if so, be easier just to e-transfer to me when the check appears. and ask him if there's a way he can diminish uh, my count books available so that's forced to go to um, Ingram Sparks external supplier because I own that and I get money and notifications directly um, but the last thing I I uh, think if I want to get that done, I'm going to have to research it myself because he's adverse to doing any work for me now.
And first exit. Not really an exit, that's an entrance. Exit now. Exit now. Checking. Not a lot of traffic here, although I think I've got it nudged up to, I think it's 1.2. Maybe not. Interesting, interesting landscape with a field. Oh, and there's a big reservoir or something there. Okay. Whatever that was. That was fun. speed and uh, 10 speed is quite adequate Ooh, over Jake, oh, good. I like these houses they have on this map too. They look very much like something you would expect in the, you know, Eastern European countryside. Not a lot of spare cash to paint your house. Definitely not the colors of Newfoundland fishing villages. Getting to right. what was that all about? Oh, okay, is it that intersection? Yes. Seems a strange, uh, strange suggestion, but okay, we kept right, Sky. And more snow in the field there. Huge highway. Find the gut. Possibly we want to be in the right. right lane, and although it's very right. strange for me that snow was.
Possibly. Yep, it's another roundabout. This exit? No. Could, but no thank you. I believe exit now. A little slow on that, eh? I mean, I was going 38 and the limit's 50, but I'm going to come up on that just a little bit faster. 50. The what? The first exit. Say first or third. I think she said first. Looking at the map, so I think she meant first. Let's say exit now when it's too late to. Almost too late to exit. Ah, it is a reservoir and a dam and a control structure. the power lines. Yep, 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 going through countryside still. At least it's varied countryside. And I can now I can read the signs, they're not in the Russian. Oh, they're a little fast for my eyes. First. Second. exhortation to keep right. What else would I do? Oh, oh, there we are on the map. Uh, just a sec, let me check something here again. Hem, 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 hem. Hem. Okay. Go, Gramps. Oh, okay. 70. We can go 70 here. Take the Jake off because it's sometimes nice. To oh, a windmill. We're in Holland. Sometimes nice to back off the gas like this. Coast. And the auto Jake I have set up uh, can be annoying. Oh, look, a bus stop. It's nice. Get out of Fieldstone or something. Oh, we're uh, 
wandering through through Europe. Uh, we started here at uh, I think Stashkov. Stashkov. And we've got the small roads option, and we've been enjoying the small roads. Some of them, like in here, this one is, that's the one. Small roads meaning single lane, less than a single lane, gravel and bumps and shit all over it. We're heading on the small roads on Pro Mods gradually. Lots. I've got my Ziv truck. And I've got wipers that can go off. And I've got a gents. Alright, let's get going straight and then look at it. Gents. Chipper. What chipper? And the inside of the truck is fairly barren. Folks, look. Uh, I can take Mel with me in it. Not sure why that's available, but not <coughs> yet. Other trucks don't support it, but uh, what was that? Was that a customs thing? Because I did not get. Maybe that's maybe it's closed. Border crossing. Hmm. It did not get rooted through. Love these houses in building. Customs building. It's quite interesting. Really like the, those bus stops they have here that are, you notice them next time you see one. They're made out of, they're, uh, it's like flat field stone. Flat field stone? Flat stone stacked up. Nice little wall like you'd do for a fireplace or something. A lot of roundabouts here. Pretty simple, though. Um, what do we look like on the map here? <coughs> oh, we're going near something. Ooh. Fire burnt. Car burnt out. Foam all around it. Oh. can do. Oh, 
Ooh, there goes the train. Uh, let me get, get a snack. I'll be right back. a peek in the freezer and the fridge and the cupboard and that stuff to make spaghetti maybe I'll do that I'll put on a batch of spaghetti and drive I'll drive for a bit more and then I'll put on a batch of sp spaghetti and then while that's simmering I'll do some some writing I think oops let's get the uh, Heading for a adventure on a actual highway now. As opposed to uh oh no. No, good. We're still on another small road. Doing quite well. Two, one. Oh, maybe we can get some trains here. 
slow down, give the train a chance to come across. Crawl up to it, we're still moving, people should not get upset. I don't know whether these crossings are all active. I know some of them have a flashing white light. And there's no, you know, when it's up like this, it changes to red. When a train goes by, but that had nothing happening. assume when you're doing the maps you've got the opportunity to do two types of crossings, the active and the passive one, so. Um, when you choose the small roads option, you right, and then turn right. get a lot of, oh, that was interesting, you get a lot of, um, corners in. Right. Enough lights there, eh? Good job with this intersection. Two or five showing at you. Possibly they've had problems with people not getting it. Better than the ones where they've got one light and it's on the far side of the intersection, so you're never sure where your stop line is. You have to guess that it's where the other the light is that's facing the other direction. And I found that's good enough, but But it's not good enough, eh? Do a better job, people. So, November 7th, the release. Sorry, I was thinking turn left there. A release of um, uh, 1.36, and I believe Utah. I believe that was the latest SCS news. Just let me uh, be patient, people. Just let me leap over to this screen to SCS software's blog and see yeah so release date Utah map expansion will be published on the 7th of November thirty five hundred miles of road major cities new quarry expanded oil improved agriculture train blah blah blah, blah rock improved landscape Achievements, um, and, and I think that means 1.36 comes out then too. What we don't know is, well, we haven't seen any talk lately about what's happening in ETS. I certainly, I'll be looking forward to loading 1.36 and um, Utah, buying Utah. Uh, but on the other hand, I, as much as it will be nice to explore, the old maps, uh, the old parts of ATS are not as exciting. Um, thank God we have Coast to Coast and other expansions to fill in, but they have gaps of quality detail various areas so Get ready to <sighs> meaning when you come right down to it ATS is not that exciting uh, yeah let's get gas let's do this kind of a turn right 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We just do this. Just turn right. Do this. Exactly, Sky. We're just doing cool here. Well, we won't turn right yet because we just turn the engine off. But I, I understand your concern and the concept. Okay. Oh, chipper man. Okay. Turn right again. We're good. Cleared everything. That's good. I like that in my time. I could probably take off the seconds too, but um, then people might wonder, well maybe people would wonder whether it actually is or not. Right now it's obvious that's a time, a lifetime. And it's 12.08 so people understand where I'm coming from. I assume this is a 24 hour clock. See any AM or PM little light there. Nice if somebody did an add on that was uh, analog. Take a lot more room. Right? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That balloon is a smear on the screen. It's gone now. It was a hot air balloon, a distance silhouetted against the sun, or a sponge on my screen. Time is 1614 on Friday. Day is still quite long, isn't it? Get half an hour to go. Was I could finish this run? Eh? Look at ten hours of driving. Three minutes an hour is thirty minutes, and noon could go to thirty. Noon dark thirty. I've been. Um, I get to get Where are we? Not sure where we're going. Are there any twisty little roads coming up? Okay, the once again, wandering. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of them. Lots of them. Geez, we went through these places and we haven't really discovered them. Slightly. Slightly sad. I could change my route to do that if it's easy to go off off route, take a little detour and go through a town and back on without you know 
trouble. Hoping that that guy was gonna keep going around the roundabout, not keep going around the roundabout, that yellow car. Slow down a lot for a roundabout here, buddy. And you don't even boot it once you get out of the roundabout. That is your problem. There we go. Now you can go faster. 80. slowing down gradually too. right out. Luckily, there was enough of a shoulder there. I mean, I braked, but I wasn't really braking fast enough. 
temptation just to keep going. What is it here? 30? 20. Oh well. That on the other side too then, because <coughs> what they do sometimes is they check speed on both sides. That's it. saying that, I got distracted by checking something on my phone, and then it's like, oh yeah. 20. And then it's 60. After telling myself, reminding myself to go slow, I did not. Now this is an interesting uh, bridge. Not like the bridge. Where are we? We're there. That is. Oh. It's a place that has a nice bridge. Are we going between two um, two countries? Oh, I guess we are. To I think to Latvia. Lithuania and then Kaliningrad. That is next to Lithuania. You know, I don't see a welcome to. Nice looking, eh? Welcome to what? Uh, can't see. Russian Federation. Oh, one of the countries of the Russian Federation. Okay. Uh, okay, so we turn right here, I believe. Get ready to turn right. Oh yeah, I remember getting through here. Turn right. You have to go over here. Otherwise, you missed the border check. <coughs> Not obvious, but there. Then you have to get over like this. Weird, eh? Because that, that other gate didn't look like it was ready to go up. Caught by that before. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Bus and is it Fieldstone? No, it's the plastic thing. Oh well. Here. No. Oh, okay. Do about a bit. <coughs> Sorry. It would have been a pretty small road to uh, wander up. It's 18.53 and I've got 8 hours to go and I need to be there Saturday at 6, so if I change the time to 5, uh, I've only got 3 hours, I wouldn't make it. I'll be late. So, but I think I'm going to have to do that. Right. I'll drive till it's dark and then I'll change the t clock. a lot of driving to do. Uh, still 500k, so. But, thanks for watching. Whoever's out there viewing, thank you for viewing. And if you're a follower, thanks for following. Um, but feel free to lurk or say hi in the chat. You can also cheer me with bits. Subscribe with your Amazon Prime buy some of my books. The LRT was out yesterday, and I think it was also out today. Every day they've had outages. Trains out of service. They had an issue with people holding the doors. The doors jamming jamming in the sense of they they stop working. They go into a offline condition and the train can't move because not getting a good signal back from all the doors. And what they found was people were rushing to get on the train and, and they'd hold the door for somebody stuff like this and they, the doors would they break now. Toronto subway that doesn't happen, but but um, they they supposedly did testing here. They were supposed to do twelve consecutive error-free days with fifteen trains. They had a lot of trouble achieving that. They eventually dropped it to thirteen trains, and then they allowed resets. So I think the best they did was four consecutive. And you have to wonder if if they tested it with real people, like I used to do field trials in Bell Canada, a uh, processes internal operational support system processes, and we would uh, for a new product or something we would I would have real people, friends, and that buy it and and pay for it and call in support problems and get it fixed and send it back and get a replacement and have a technician do all the things that were required to support this product. So, pff. 
we also had some testers that would hit the wrong key. You know, we give a guy, you know, do this and this and this. System died, and he said, well, I hit the F7 key. You're not supposed to. He said, yeah, I know. So we had to make sure we were parsing the keys that we were looking for and not and basically managing the ones we weren't looking for. And I'm pretty sure they did not have anybody on testing the LRT. They probably were given instructions, don't touch the doors. Okay. Nobody touched the doors. I would have. Seven, eight. We got half an hour left. Uh, could go for half an hour, and then I'll be done at. Going up here? No. Hope oh, not. I'll be finished at one. My t time: twelve twenty-eight. Time for the one o'clock news. Oh, there was a there was a FBS drop. Somebody, yep, somebody must have clipped the back of my truck trailer, not realizing that there was a big truck like this. Could have been a signal like that. Well, it's not a bright enough trailer. Looks good to me, but not good enough. Nice cones there. slow down we should really slow down here we had something burnt out something happened the traffic light here Yeah, the stats is my local time, but I'm, I think I like that thing up as well. I like the my time. My time. Okay, we're hoping to change, I guess. I'm going to have to change the time here because it's getting darkish. Could just keep driving all night. The 
fucking time then. Keep left and then turn left. But turn left. Okay, like that. <laughs> that was just under the wire there for uh Okay, so what do we do for time? We're gonna do five. Yeah, no, five makes it like that. Oop. Too many buttons here. So that says I'm gonna get there at 11:38, and I think I'm supposed to be there at 8:55 or something. Yeah, 8:45. Oh well, I'll be late. Do we? Don't go through here. Okay. Garbage by the side of the road. Uh, let's take this one. We always take the right hand one. Went to 519 just when I stopped. And I'll probably go to 5. Oh no. It was less than a minute. Okay. Oh, we have to do two of them though. Oh well, pulled out now. Sorry. Forgot, we're sliding a little bit in the snow. Sort of. Um, just skip this. Save there. Now we know. You bypass that? Well, you can try. But you're just going to sit there, wait for the gate to go up. Oh, yes, go through the one that says trucks. Because you're a truck. <laughs> well, that was educational. Not completely surprising. Educational. Uh, I'm surprised the game hasn't reminded me yet that I'm supposed to be there. Well, maybe it's an hour before. So, I 
an hour before game time, it'll tell me. Welcome to the European Union. Isn't that interesting? For them. Election, I think, December 12th in um, Britain. I think Britain is uh, that island of England, Wales, and Scotland, and I believe the United Kingdom is England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. But I could be wrong. Okay, let's see if we get this time down a bit. Okay, if we do 70, what happens to that ETA of 11.58? Oh, actually counts down. Not very quickly, though. The, uh, but the uh, talk of the Jake on so that I will have breaking on it right go faster than 70. Unless it's a nasty hill. Ooh, looks like we're getting snow again. fog lights in this game. chance. I guess. No, we're just assuming not a lot of traffic. There's a truck. I know he's flashing side beams, but uh, they don't really have much, do they? Oh, I know what do I have to do. Just a sec. Possibly. Oh, that doesn't work, though. Oh, they were all on. That help? Sort of. My foot hit the clutch, which did nothing. Clear here. Yeah, our express customer expects you soon. They do. They're not going to get me, though.
I love it when there's vultures overhead. Ooh, nicely done, buddy. slowed me down a bit, but you all cranked it out. So, what's our time? 11.57, see? Time. Puts it around. little highway. Small roads. Got small roads. Small roads are us. Cows. I'm surprised that I'm not getting a slipperier slipperier experience here, although this is the ETS-2 mod as opposed to the ATS mod. So the physics might be different. Was I going to check? Oh, I was going to check my Zill and see if there's an update to my Zill. Love these shadows, eh? Look at the shadows. Awesome. Lovely detail. Windshield is weird. Oh, and the roof rack that doesn't fit. Oh, I'll have to see what version I have of the Zill. I can even tell. Don't know. Oh, is that a bird across the bus? Don't pull out, because we'll go like that. And he did. Well, we have some damage now. 8%, that's okay. Possibly had a right hand signal going, in which case he assumed I was turning right. So I may have to take some of the blame for that uh, crash, but uh, pulled right out in front of me. Knocked the front of my truck around. No, don't you dare pull in, because you're going to pull in and brake check me. Yeah, that's what you wanted to do, didn't you? Then you changed your mind. Thank you. So 
we've got uh, 10 minutes to go. Nice highway. Just going along here nicely. There's a balloon. There's a parking there. Parking. Gas station. They cut me off. We have to go slower because we're doing a corner. Oh, and we're doing a do something here. What do I do? First exit. Thank you, Sky, for typing up there. I thought you weren't going to be there for me. It's Well, we're getting close there. We're getting, and we're getting, as we head into the EU, we seem to be hitting nicer roads, wider roads. Uh, I don't know whether that is a conscious decision on the Pro Mods developers. Uh, up there. decision on their part, the phrase I was looking for. Oh yeah. Get going a little too fast with the cruise control, don't you? It's easy just to crank it up or to have it to respond to it cranking up as opposed to having your foot being able to be cautious. Just keep well, focusing and grabbing those corners, grabbing the brakes and then okay. Less than two hours. The city we're going to. No. Clock. Clock now. Whatever the hell clock is. I don't know, but we discovered it, including the mystery L. Wonder what an L through that line, what that means, that a pound sign. Come on now. 
No speed limit in pluck. I mean, no change to the speed limit. It's a little peculiar. Fine, but... again. Think. Ah, at the roundabout. Turn right. First right. What are you doing? Ah, you're going that way. Good lad. Visiting Pluck. The high beams, eh? It's foggy at Pluck. The nice effect they do with the winter, the winter fog. There, somewhere. Lots is coming. Winter's coming too, so. straight through. You could do that. And, oh, we missed the sign because we've got a self-steering trailer. And we're so happy about that. Okay, letting me out, I hope, because I'm coming out. Crash vehicle offense? No, so he did not take my trailer. Good for him. Oh, we're good. 80, we go 80. Okay, go 80 then. So we're going to lose, get some damage, I think, to the cargo. Maybe 1%. Oh, definitely will be late. Keep left, and then keep left. Really? Keep left, and then keep left. Oh, you crazy woman. Crazy one.
here. Then what? I turn left, do I? Or the road just goes left. Goes goes left, so let's just stay in this lane. Well, maybe it doesn't. Oh, I see what happens. Good reason to get out of the lane. Bad for them. So we're pretty close, I think. Oh, I wanted to get there by one. I won't get there by one. Discovery. Can't. Somebody's sitting there. Little side road. First exit. These roundabouts are bigger. So much road, with heavy, heavy traffic through here. Jesus, good thing we got a map going, cause I would not sure if I would trust. Truster with all these turn rights, turn lefts. I wanted to catch the one o'clock news, but I could just Google it. Okay. And where's our drop off? Right here. Oh. Keep right and then turn right. Oh, an actual green light that I can turn right at. Concept. Damn it! What the hell do these guys do? Sorry, but 
brake checked. Get ready to turn right. I will. Turn right. I mean, the AI drives like an idiot, but so do real people, so I shouldn't get impatient with it. I should be joyful. Okay, so we are in a hurry now. Late, but not broken. Uh, we didn't lose that much. Lost three thousand, so we got forty-five instead of forty. Oh, damage too. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Here we are. I'll put the brake on. Oh. So, if we wanted to find a job from here, lots, and uh, we'd find some. Where we go? <sighs> Where would I want to go? I'm not going to, but I want to go. Um. You go this way, southwest, and you know, small roads, it's going to be again entertaining. Cargo weight from dots. Uh, well, see that. Uh, or Italy. Um, okay, but I gotta have some supper or some lunch and have a shower and do some shopping, do some writing, check some things out. I want to check out, oh yes, I want to check out this truck and see if there's an update that keeps snow from going, drifting down onto the uh, dashboard. So, thank you very much for viewing, my friends. Thank you for, if you're, uh, thank you for following, if you're a follower. And uh, I'll be on Possibly this evening. Yeah, it's one o'clock here. Thirteen hours. Ta-ta.